That was really nice and totally unexpected. <coughs> okay, so what I've been grasping with... What's the difference between not expecting something and not resisting it? Well, if you prepave and you have a certain ideology of where you're going... Yeah. So you had this general expectation that you were not contradicting with specific worry. We're just saying. Just saying. <clears throat> so, a number of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to be in the hot seat before, and I'd asked that something to do with, you know, when you want something, you're basically focusing on the fact that you don't have it, and today you're going deeper into this concept of, you know, being in the place of not having something actually allows you to, as you say, rocket of traction into your vortex, and I'm not going to butcher your words anymore. Um, so Clarif my question is... Clarifies. Clarifies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so my question is that you're almost saying that through challenge and through adversity, you create the biggest manifestations of your dreams than through having a life that's simple and content. And well, it's more intense. We're not saying that you can get to the big stuff incrementally, or you can get to the big stuff on the rough ride... The big stuff's there for you. In other words, you, you cannot stop clarifying life. It just must get better. You cannot stand in a moment in time where you are perceiving what's going on without being aware that it could be a little better in this way and this way and this way and this way. And to the degree that you keep up then, vibrationally, by caring about how you feel. You see, let, we're going to just jump in here for a minute and then we'll throw it back to you. But we really want to build this foundation because this is really the leading edge of deliberate creation so you think we're a little schizophrenic because we say focus on what you want and then we say don't focus on what you want if what you want isn't happening because if you focus upon what you want from your awareness that isn't happening, then you practice a contradictory vibration to what you really want. So then we began saying, what you want is in the vortex. So you just chill. Have a massage, pet your cat, go for a swim, meditate. Do anything that you can do to put yourself in a place of non-resistance. And then the grid will begin to fill in. Now we're wanting to say, and so then physical friends would say, but I like to be specific. But when I'm specific and it's not going well, then I'm shooting myself in the foot. So we say, well, be aware. Be, be as specific as you can be and still feel good. Because you want to be specific. But here's the thing that we most want to introduce into this conversation. It isn't you that is being specific. It's the grid filling in that is bringing the specifics. And if you can follow that, in other words, so Abraham, are you really saying that I'm just observing and throwing stuff out there and then I'm just finding a way to line up with it and that as it fills in and I observe the specifics that that's really what creation is and we say, that's what it is. How about that? So now, here's another piece of it that's really good. So if you can go general, and stay there long enough with non-resistance, that's why meditation helps you, then as your grid begins to fill in, and you begin to notice it, what happens is you get better and better and better and better at discerning the subtleties of those specifics. Did you follow that? In other words, it's fun when you say, I want that, and it's big, and you point at it, and it comes. That's fun. That's fun. But the real deliciousness, if you're an artist, you want to get really good at it. You don't want to paint with a great big old paintbrush that you'd paint the house with if you're painting on canvas. In other words, you want something that is more refined, don't you? And so the same thing is true with this energy. Once you get the hang of this and you begin to feel the subtleties, the subtleties, so, so then it becomes as satisfying. Here it is. This is what we've been reaching for. So... For someone, we said you like the drama of it. 
because you like to feel the energy moving. So when you really know what you don't want and you really know what you do want, when you finally find a way of no longer offering the resistant vibration and what you do want manifests, oh, it feels really exhilarating to you. But it is equally exhilarating when you start refining your ability to discern this vibration. You want this a little. It's something that is really refined and you come into vibrational alignment with it. So here's what we're getting at. Your ability to perceive is growing exponentially with the details that you're putting in your vortex. You see how it works? Did you follow that? It was way out there on the leading edge. We want you to get really, really, really good at discerning the subtle differences in energy. And when you're really, really good at it, those subtle differences, when they flow into your grid, will be every bit as satisfying as those big ones that you think you want. All right, now here's the big piece. Those big ones that you think you want can't happen. Those big quantum leaps that you're reaching for can't happen. Because if you've practiced one vibration, it can't fill in with another, you see. The closest thing to a quantum leap you're ever going to experience is when you feel your vortex full and you croak. <laughs> That's a quantum leap. But as long as you're still here in this physical body, you really want to get good at devouring, at savoring the deliciousness of the subtleties of that, you say. So is it almost expanding your awareness, if you will? So good words. Okay, so... Sensitivity, awareness. Okay, so you're paying attention. You're being aware of your life, whether it's your intuition or whatever. And, what are, and what are you paying attention to? Well, either the thing that you're missing or the thing that you're... But what are you, what's your attention on? How you feel. Not the thought that caused the feeling. How you feel. Because if you're focused on how you feel, then you're tending to your grid. If you're tending to your grid, the details will fill in, and when they do, you can focus on them. Ooh. Finally, we've got creation turned around in the way that it always has meant to be by the laws of the universe, yes? The thought causes the feeling, but when you focus on the feeling, then the thought comes. That's what attraction is. There's no assertion. It's all attraction. It's about preparing yourself vibrationally. It's like, I'm going to ready myself for the manifestations I seek. That's what the best description of deliberate creation is. I'm going to vibrationally ready myself for the filling in of the grid. And in so doing, you pay attention to the part of your life that really is working. And Every time. basically play ignorance to the things that aren't yeah. in the hope that they'll... In the knowing. In the knowing. <laughs> <laughs> because right. you've practiced enough with enough things that you've shown yourself that it works. So you in put it out there. It's, you know so it's not you... theory. It's not theory. It, I, by this afternoon, it's, it can be not theory. You can, you, can, you can get yourself into a general enough place, just chewing with us. In other words, as we're having this conversation, it's happening on many more levels than a verbal level. It's a vibrational thing that's going on. And so your vibration is raising and raising and raising and raising and raising. Your grid is drastically improved as a result of focusing in an arena like this. And so then, as you are just paying attention to the grid filling in, and you are making the association between what came and how you felt before, now you've got it, you see. But if you're just blundering around, observing, 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 creating grids, not being aware that you're creating them, not knowing one from the other, just knowing that life is up and down and up and down and stuff's happening, and you're not able to make any association between what filled in, what came, what, what flowed into what grid, and how that grid felt while you were making it, that's creating by default. Deliberate creating is so much more delicious. Okay. Thank you.